Silver Stars. Silver Stars are women to find them and something that rhymes. I don't know. I'm very bad at thinking of. I'm very bad at writing lyrics. <laughs> you have to know this by now. Anyway, we are in a galaxy that, if you're gonna tell by now, is obviously inspired by Super Mario Sunshine. And one of and a big reason and big reason to prove this is that there are pinatas everywhere. When I woke up this morning, I saw these silver star things all over the island. Well, go through to this level. That's exciting. Uh, there are these crabs everywhere. Um, Yoshi can eat them to, and throw them around like a boomerang. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I prefer using the spike thing because the crab cells, like I said, they act as a boomerang so they will come back at you. Uh, boomerang! It's all coming back to you! I don't know why I make it this way. Uh, but yeah, the crab cells, they will... Uh, they will come back at you, and it can get a little bit annoying because they can knock you off Yossi. So let's go get the spiky thing. Go spiky and pointy! You have to feel bad for Yossi because all the stuff he has Mario forces him to do. Mario is kind of a monster. <laughs> Yay, a silver star! They still make the cutest stars ever! I'm sorry, I know I say that way too much, but seriously, the silver stars are like the cutest thing ever. Also, the music here is really cool, so I'm gonna set up for a moment so you guys can actually just do it. Okay, that's enough. Um, it, I really do like the music here. Um, it sounds like something that you hear in Mario Sunshine, which is the point of this, because it's a galaxy. Uh, it was obviously inspired by Super Mario Sunshine with all the water and the piñatas and things like that. So, speaking of Mario Sunshine, that's a really fun game. If you haven't uh, checked it out already, then I highly recommend you go play that game. It's different, yes, but different isn't always bad. Uh, I've done correctly, um, making something different can, I can't... You can make something different, but still make it good. Look at Kid Icarus Uprising, for example. It's gameplay-wise, it's nothing like the first two Kid Icarus games, but, but um, but people still really love it. Um, or like Metroid Prime, for example. Uh, that's just they turned Metroid into a first-person shooter, and people still love it, even though it's kind of, um, even though people, even though it's kind of, even though it's different from. Uh, what the Metroid games were like prior to the Metroid Prime games. And there's a chili pepper right there, and we can use it to run on water! Yossi is amazing! You can run on water and do stuff and things. Let's comment, there's a comet medal in this cave right here. Uh, it's possible to get the comet medal on both of the main missions here. Not in the prankster comet, but in the main mission. Excuse me, stupid eel. Alright, uh, like I said, um, you can only get the comet, you can get that comet medal in both of the main missions, but not in the Prankster Comet mission. Whenever I play through this galaxy, I always find myself just like, staying, just like, not, like, just like, not really doing anything that's required for the mission, like I, I kind of ignore the silver stars. Because I just want to explore this level. This is one of those levels that uh, you just really want to explore, and I really like that. Because I love exploring the video games, which is a bigger reason why I love the Legend of Zelda series. Um, and the final silver star is up on this tower thing. It has a tree on top. Because that makes sense. Then again, we're playing a game that where we're playing as a red, chubby Italian plumber uh, who throws fireballs everywhere. I look up for love! So now it's time to go get our power star and stuff and thing that was not over there. Oh my god, don't tell me. There is a chair there is a chili over here. What what is it what's this buzzer about to say? Don't yell at me. 
This guy even talks- I never knew this was here! You could use this to get to that- Was this the way you were supposed- that they intended you to get that silver star? How did I never know this? I'm weird. Climbing the cloudy tower of terror! Hey, I can see my house from here! Not really. I wish I did live in this galaxy. My only problem is that this is a this is more of a summer galaxy, and I'm more of a winter dude. Also, yay for planets that are wasting our time, but not but not really on a technical level because it's because the game needed more time to load this planet. If you didn't know that already, I'm I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but uh, the this game, whenever Mario is like circling around a giant planet, um, that's the big reason why that, that he does that. Is that to is so that is to give the Wii more time to load uh, the planet? Um, like this right here, there's a lot of stuff on this planet. There are the en there's a lot of enemies that need to be loaded, starbase, and and all that and all that technical stuff. So the Wii would have needed a little bit more time to load it all, which is why that you start off on the planet way over there um, instead of starting over here. But you don't really notice it because the view of the planet is really cool. That tower is finally finished, but I hear the entrance at the bottom of the ocean of all places. Kind of a weird place to put a tower. And you, yeah, this planet, this galaxy is cool. Uh, the, the, how they mapped the loading times in this game is really brilliant. Um, and speaking of load times, uh, there's a game that I'm really, really excited for that's going to be on the Wii U next year. It's called Xenoblade Chronicles X. And it's going to be the spiritual successor to the greatest RPG on the Wii. Um, that game, the Xenoblade Chronicles, that is a huge game. There's a lot of stuff in it. But what I heard, what I read in an, in an article once, is that the developers of Xenoblade Chronicles X, um, uh, Monolith Soft, they said that the overworld of Xenoblade Chronicles X, um, it's going to be five times that uh, it's going to be five times larger than Xenoblade. And either four or five times bigger, but when I saw that, I was all like, "Oh my god!" It's taken me, it's taken me months to get to to get to where I am in Xenoblade, Blade, which I'm not going to talk about right now because it's because it's spoilers and stuff for a for like a 50 hour game or something. But I'm pretty far into the game, and I'm still not halfway done. That game is huge, so it's going to take me a really long time to do to get through Xenoblade like Chronicles X when that game comes out. But that's something that I'm looking forward to because that game looks awesome! So does Cinema Gummy Tensei Crosses Fire Emblem. That's another RPG on the Wii U that looks pretty cool. Even though we've like seen absolutely nothing from that game, um, I'm still pretty excited for it because the idea of merging those two RPGs together is a, it's a really cool idea. Even though I've never actually played a, a Cinema Gummy Tensei or a Fire Emblem game before, aside from the demo of Fire Emblem Awakening. Anywho, enough about upcoming games, let's talk about this one. What we want to do is that we want to use a uh, cloud flower to get us over there. There's a bunch of floods that, that are going to make your life miserable because if you touch water, the cloud flower will go away. And it is really rude. You see something sparkling way up there in the clouds? No, I don't. I see absolutely nothing up there. There's nothing up there. Why would there anything? Why would there be anything up there? All right, let's continue on our merry way. To the Whoops. Let's try that again. Hopefully, this time without fail. Can I please get through this horrible mission? Yay! The Super Flood didn't make our life miserable. Now with that, we're gonna end this video off here. So, thank you guys for watching this video of Super Mario Galaxy 2. And until next time, we're to you. Oh.